What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and Treyarch just posted this official post over on the Black Ops 4 subreddit and this is the September 10th update where they confirmed that the next major update for Operation Apocalypse Z will be next week on September the 17th with Deathmatch Domination and Hot Pursuit coming this week while they also reiterate a little bit more on the final Zombies DLC for 2019. So they mentioned Jungle Flooded which is kind of a long awaited final weather variant map within multiplayer so as they officially said our next and final major update for apocalypse z scheduled to kick off on september 17th including jungle flooded the blackout environment updates for both the main map and alcatraz not sure what that could be the return of pandemic in blackout so essentially zombies turned and they have some weapon tuning for the javelina aa50 now along with that they kind of confirmed something that i find very interesting so they said in less than two weeks the finale of the black ops 4 Ether story will be playable for zombies fans around the world. They'll have more details to share along the way to shed more light on the experience that awaits. So they ensured that uh, they will be posting more things on Twitter. So make sure you have those Twitter notifications on. Here is the interesting point though. Witness the Victus Cruise Awakening in our final Black Ops 4 Ether Maps first story trailer, A Light in the Darkness. So the way this is worded gets me thinking that A Light in the Darkness is not the name of the map itself rather is just the name of the specific story trailer they released for the finale to the Ether story. So there's a big chance that the actual name of the map could still be End of the Dead or Ultimatum. And I cannot wait to see what the name ends up being. I was really expecting a gameplay trailer today on the 10th for many reasons. You know, first off, we have the beta for Modern Warfare starting in just a few days. And I honestly believe that Activision probably just doesn't care when it comes to the marketing of this final Zombies map while the beta is actually active. And as Trayer confirmed in this Reddit post, there's plenty more teasers to share along the way. So clearly they're going to be bleeding into the Modern Warfare beta somehow, but what I will assume is we probably won't get any marketing for anything Black Ops 4 related uh, as soon as this Thursday when the beta begins, but maybe deep into the beta itself, right before the release of the final zombie map is when you'll see a little bit more marketing, and obviously you have a little bit of advertising for the final update to Apocalypse Z, which is a week away, and a week away is obviously still when the Modern Warfare beta will be active, and God forbid servers go down for a day or two, they'll end up extending the beta by a day or something like that, so that might also bleed into the marketing for the final zombie map but i do believe activision probably looks at modern warfare as the priority in terms of marketing and they have no issue whatsoever also marketing black ops 4 along the way since it is the final dlc and they probably consider black ops 4 a bit of a financial loss in terms of its post-launch content but from now until the 17th of september we have deathmatch domination bare bones mosh pit bolt action bare bones party games and mercenary deathmatch mosh pit so very exciting stuff and they also released another zombies teaser earlier today today kind of hinting at the frozen forest again and the actual caption for it is that memories will burn we also hear a quote from what appears to be coming from ultimus dempsey so the fact that the caption says memories will burn kind of gives me the impression that uh, we're going to be going back to those memory trailers from black ops 3's dlc season and finally confirming a fan theory that many of us out there have been talking about which is the idea that those actual memory trailers took place after dlc 3 and before dlc 4 of Black Ops 4, not Black Ops 3, since they kind of reminisce on a little bit on Monty breaking the cycle and kind of their spiritual journey as characters, but it doesn't really fit the theme and plot to Black Ops 3, but now is really beginning to fit the actual theme and plot of Black Ops 4. So kind of some very smart marketing and planning on Treyarch's part when it came to those trailers back in Black Ops 3. So even though we don't have the strongest of marketing with Black Ops 4, at least have those memory trailers to look back on and say, hey, it was teasing some really big things that are eventually going to happen in the Ether story but just weren't too relevant to the actual plot of black ops 3 at the time so it's great to see that we're finally gonna get an answer to a lot of those questions in regards to those memory trailers and marketing from black ops 3 but that's about it this has been dk dynamite check all links down below in the description i covered a lot of details and potential leaks from an unverified and anonymous source about dlc4 and even zombies chronicles 2 be sure to check all that out keep you guys up to date with the latest and greatest black ops 4 information in the case we do see some more marketing for black ops 4 and the final zombie map later this week. That is about it, and peace out, everyone.